Hey everyone and welcome back to Darksiders 3. On this video, we're making our way through Haven. So, let's head up the tree branch this way. Oh, and uh, so let's turn off this way for some good- Oh, hi. Oh, no. We got beat up a little bit, but we're alive. And we got a large lurcher club. And I have no healing items, do I? Well, I do have the small healing shards. Let's use one. And another small lurcher claw. Ah, <laughs> getting hit. Aren't we making a mighty rocker? Says the demon who announces his ambush. Ah, it was not my intention to do battle, horseman. Ah, well, such a passionate little thing, aren't we? Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Volgrim, merchant of the damned. A trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. And whose souls do you trade in? Angel, demon, or even human. All souls have value to me. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your wake. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Information. The Seven Deadly Sins. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setter. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. Call for me if you have souls to trade, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. Volgrim Plinth. Fury can feed collected souls to Volgrim to earn attribute points. Attribute points can be spent in Fury's character menu by pressing the touchpad. Volgrim has allowed you access to the Serpent Holes. This ancient network of pathways flows throughout the world and beyond, allowing fast travel between plinths. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Greetings. So, I can go ahead and feed him some souls. This That'll give me levels. will be fun for both of us. Let's go ahead and get a level. And we'll get another level. And one more. So up to level four now. As you wish. He also has things he will sell you. Take your time. Bunch of consumables, some we haven't even seen before. I'm not gonna buy any of these, and uh, I actually can't because I used up most of my souls. He also has no ingredients, but he does have specials. He's got two of these enchantment things, and he also has this rejuvenation core, which will permanently increase the health restored by Nephilim's respite by 75. But it is 5,000 souls, which is not exactly cheap. Plus, at the moment at least, Nephilim's respite basically is a full heal, so. At the moment, this is kind of pointless, but at some point, it'll be quite nice. As you wish. And then there's the serpent holes, Please which is fast travel. Take your time. So you can see, my friend actually knew what they were talking about. That first area is indeed called West End. We are currently at Skyscraper, within Haven. As you wish. 
<laughs> also, when you talk to him, you will be completely healed. All right, so we have some attribute points. Now, I played around a little bit with the attribute points and I don't really know which route I wanna go yet. So let's just go ahead and get one point in each. So we'll get one health, one strength. Oh, and I got the trophy first of many for spending my first attribute point. So we'll increase physical damage by 5% and arcane damage by 7%. Alrighty, nice balanced character. Vulgrim and his demon tongue. They live to confound and feed of the scraps of a world they help destroy. Indeed they do. But despite his thirst for souls, Vulgrim may be a useful tool on this journey. Oops, I'm not paying attention. Alright, so I have to actually jump here. There we go. Alright, and here we go. Swing. Oh, hi, ambush. A small healing shell. And a large lurcher club. Now, if you look down here, over here, you'll see another shiny. And that would be a medium lurcher club. Okay, let's make our way back up. Okay, over here we have another shiny after we deal with this guy. So another shiny and another barrier that we can't get past. Got that small lurcher clump though. <laughs> the length these roots have grown. They seem to have taken over everything. Indeed, mistress. shiny medium lurcher clump and if you look up there's this weird whirlwind thing we're gonna find uh, at least one more of these currently can't use it but obviously there's some sort of ability later on that will send us to the top so we can get that shiny Sticking close to the wall here, because... Oh! Havoc form! Temporarily call upon Fury's Havoc form to decimate foes. While in this form, Fury inflicts massive amounts of arcane damage. Press L1 plus R2 to unleash Havoc form. I'm going to save that for a different situation. Because it is quite a good ability. Ow! Can I use Nephilim's respite? 
No, I'm gonna hold on to it. And you can see my Havoc form at the top left of the screen. That's that spiral red bar that's been filling for quite some time. You know what? I'm actually gonna use my respite. There we go. Back to four. And we got a small lurcher cluster. Alright, um... It seems that at some point I might be able to cross that gap, but for now that is not going to happen. So instead, we're going over here. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I never went up top. Up here. So we have this clump of souls. And we also got a large lurcher claw. Okay, now we're moving. I'm curious as to who remains here, if anyone. And there he is again. But we have no reason to talk to him currently. Behind me, we once! Let me tend to our uninvited guests. A horseman. Fury, currently reserving the right to kill you where you stand. And you are? Surprised. And more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfain Blackhammer. So, you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. A maker, are you not? Aye. When there's something to make. Today, my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your counsel, I care for balance, horsemen. Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help protect them. <sighs> Wrong question. <laughs> a tribe of useless, hairless simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. They could suffer forever or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? What do they call you? Jones. Jones. Question me again. With your last breath. <laughs> Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? What do I have to lose? This moronic conflict makes you all look so stupid. Angel, demon, horseman, even maker. What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me. I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand a chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if... I can help you. That by the chain you carry could use some work. I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, and the deliverance of pain. So it stands to reason that we little Ulthane could enhance your arsenal if your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for? Humanity will not survive without aid. 
If you come across any humans on your journey, please direct them here. Haven is the only place they might be sufficiently protected. Direct them? How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this, the bridge. Only humans can use it. One touch, they're sent to Haven. Must I touch them? I accept your offer, Maker. Though I doubt it will make your collection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal, then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? You seek a pit of Hellstretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes, I will shepherd the wee ones your way, pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury, the doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. The Bridgestone, an enchanted stone etched with ancient ma uh, maker magic. It allows the instantaneous transportation of any human directly to Haven. Alright, so let's take a look around Haven. I suppose we can talk to a hairless simian. I'm glad I'm not out there anymore. I'm glad I'm not out there anymore. Well, you all gonna say the same thing? I shouldn't have bothered. Right, we have a shiny over here. be a large lurcher clump and another barrier that we can't get past. Welcome to Haven. They don't have much, but they get by. It's what humans do. I say welcome, horsemen. All right, we are moving on. He is certainly committed to his cause. Ulthane, he is blind to what truly matters. Perhaps, yes. Just another pawn who will never understand the game into which he's been played. <laughs> and he does love the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? Not like anyone I know. Did you say something? Alright, this area is actually pretty dangerous. So we will proceed somewhat carefully. And it's once again telling me that the Talisman of Sin will direct me towards uh, evil. And he's there again. No need to talk to him currently, we're gonna move on. An angelic artifact. Artifacts can be used to upgrade weapon enhancements. Ulthane should be able to make use of them. Alright, I'm gonna start with that group of three. Oh wait, no, I'm actually gonna start with this guy. Right, now for the group of three. Hello. Oh, nice, I got one. Much better. Alright, well, I'll come back to the other two later. I see him on the walls. Adamantine. Adamantine can be used to upgrade your weapons. Bring Adamantine to Ulthane to improve a weapon. Uh, you can see another one of those whirlwind things. Still not accessible. 
Also, this seems to be some sort of thing you can utilize in the future, like run up a wall or something. And you can see another one of those barriers across the way. Lots of Chinese up on uh, up on platforms we can't get to. And this guy. <laughs> Fortification shard. That's right, these two. Ah, dang it. I was doing so good at that. This guy down here. Ah, crap. Dang it. I did not want all of you. should heal, but I don't really have an opportunity. Alright, here we go. Heal up! Why? Oh, he only tried. Ow! Alright, well, I got more than I wanted, but it worked out. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go over here. You can see another one of those big guys we need to ambush. We're gonna use our Havoc form on them. Oh, and there's a shiny up here. Medium Lurcher Clump. Alright, buddy. Let's do this. Havoc form, go! And you can't take any damage. Go crazy. And you can see it works quite well. Oh, there was supposed to be another guy around here. You can see yet another thing we can't access right there. There's been a few of those actually. I forgot to point out the others, but that's one of them. And we got a sliver of adamantine. Wall we can't get through. This game loves to show you all the places you can't go yet. Got any goodies hiding? See any? There is something back here. Break the barrier. Large lurcher clump. Here's something, but it's probably up there. See another shiny way up there. Oh, actually, I think we're hearing this guy. Um, you can see he's got red eyes. He's more dangerous. I should probably heal. Go. Sliver of adamantine. And a small lurcher cluster. Climb this, but I don't think it's gonna allow us to go anywhere. Yeah, I can't quite make that gap. Nowhere to swing to. So, yeah. I can try, but no luck. Right, let's go ahead and take this. That is a wrath shard. 
And let's jump down. Please, no, just, 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 just kill me. Now I... stop your blubbering, human. Come to me. Now. Do you want to live? <laughs> what? What? If you want to live, I can send you to a safe place. Safe as any, I suppose. Touch it. Idiots. It's a miracle they ruled the Earth for as long as they did. Yay, I saved a human. Uh, we've got another barrier. Can't get through. So, let's crawl through here. Actually, let me uh, make sure there's nothing here. Nope, we're good. Moving on. Oh, it smells like death in here. Trust me. We shared a room a thousand years ago. Alright, and we've entered a new area. Look who it is! Uh, let's open up the inventory. And we will use... Well, let's, let's take a look at my new stuff first. So we level two across the board. We have this bridge stone. An enchanted stone etched with ancient maker magic. It allows the instantaneous transportation of any human directly to Haven. For a time, the makers established and maintained many bridge stones, making travel between realms and distant lands simple for all. However, as the war raged and things grew dire, they undid their work. Rendering the stone useless. Jamera. Alright, and then we have new consumables. We have a strength shard. Actually, we might have had this before. Yeah, we had this before. But we didn't have a fortification shard. A sturdy looking shard. Uh, its surface highly reflective. Very difficult to break. Instills a burst of resilience, reducing incoming damage for a short time. Frequently used by soldiers on the front lines of the most brutal skirmishes, allowing them to keep fighting against overwhelming odds. These shards are not without their disadvantages. Repeated use often leads to a full numbing of the body, making it impossible for a warrior to know their limits. Jamera. And a Wrath Shard. The rage becomes a tumultuous roar, shaking the very foundations of the user's being. Replenishes Wrath. Reserved for the Dark Kingdom's commanders, this shard's energy is all-encompassing. Altering those that use them to their very core. They become more than simply Hellspawn. They become something else entirely. Jamera. We have an angelic artifact. Forged in the early days of the war and infused with divine energy, it radiates righteousness. An angelic artifact can be used to augment a weapon enhancement. Both things should be able to make use of it. Heaven's armies were well equipped. The best soldiers afforded several of the White City's most powerful artifacts. Hell made sure to kill them first. Jumeir. And a sliver of adamantine. A few small slivers of adamantine scavenged from the weapon of a fallen soldier. Augments a weapon up to plus three. Ulthane could work wonders with this or with metal this strong. As the makers constructed the cities of heaven and hell, they discovered large deposits of a metal tougher than any other. The makers revered it. When the time came to forge weapons of war for the armies of the blessed and the damned. There was no material better suited. Jamera. Alright, and we have a whole bunch of clusters. Let's go ahead and shatter all on each category. Get all the 3,927 now. Alrighty, let's level up. Greetings. This will be fun for both of us. Uh, I think once again, I'll just get three levels, get one stack. I haven't decided where I want to specialize. Alright, so we're up to level 7. As Only you 139 wish. souls remain if we look at our Please serpent holes. Take your time. We are in a new area, the nether. And we're at the hatchling cesspool. As you wish. Uh, do make sure they scream, horseman. Alright, so we want level 3 health, strength, 
and arcade. And it looks good. So we're gonna wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.